Hey, what's going on guys? It's Zach. Today what we're going to be doing is watching the Nike NBA Swingman jersey. There's been a lot of talk about this, uh, a lot of people saying, can this be done, do the letters peel off, if you guys haven't seen my art, my uh, quality comparison video between Authentic and Swingman, definitely go check it out, but uh, I'll just give you a brief summary, that, like the main comparison between the two uh, has to do with the uh, way the letters are put on, these letters on this jersey here are, are heat pressed on there, and on the Authentics they are sewn, so washing an Authentic jersey, it's not something that I've done yet, but at the same time, if you were to wash that, it's sewn on, so I wouldn't imagine that it's going to cause any problems with peeling, as this one has a heat press logo on there, and a lot of people are complaining that it's probably going to come off, and it feels like it's cheaply done as well. So for something that you pay $110 for, uh, if this was to just fall apart in the washer, it's going to be a serious problem. I know that some people have already done this before, and it has come off, that may be due to the drying process, so what we're going to do today is we're actually going to wash this thing, and we're going to figure it out. Uh, I've been getting a lot of comments regarding washing these and somebody actually just recently said something to me about it and I did respond to them and basically I haven't really washed any of these yet because I really haven't had the point to. I, they've just been worn with like a shirt on, on top underneath of this thing and uh, they don't smell at all, they're not dirty, I've never sweat in them or anything like that. I only usually wear them for games and then just to go out and watch a game and it usually comes right back off. But. Uh, I figure this is my oldest one, I've had it the longest, and it's about time we just give this one a wash. Another thing to add with the Swingman jerseys, a lot of people, controversy, that's why I did my Authentic versus Swingman video. Uh, some people think these are not legit jerseys, but they are, it's why they have a $100, uh, $110 price tag. They are legit jerseys uh, for the City Editions, for a lot of teams, and for the Earned Editions, as for last year, the uh, New Classic Editions. They all only come in Swingman Edition and not Authentic, because Swingman is Nike's way of producing a real jersey that's just more wearable than the actual authentic. If you want to watch my video and check it out, links in the description, that'll show you why an authentic is not really a jersey that is something you'd be able to go out and wear every day. It's very thin, performance made, and it's just, it's just a lot different. So to answer the question, if this jersey is actually washable, the answer is yes, it definitely is, and Nike uh, also says it is too. Believe it or not, inside of this, there is a tag, and I'll show you guys a picture of the tag, and what it reads, and it says right in here, machine washable. It's here, so it says machine wash, and it gives you full instructions. Machine wash cold, wash inside out, wash with light colors, meaning that if you want to wash multiple jerseys, I'd probably want to wash uh, all my Sixers ones together, because for the most part, they're white, uh, red, and blue. Uh, I don't know if putting a white jersey in necessarily is a good idea. I'd probably just wash that alone, uh, but it's wash with light colors, wash inside out, uh, do not use softeners. Remove immediately. Okay, so don't put any softeners in there. Remove instantly because they do not want to allow it to lay on itself when it's wet. Uh, I believe there's a lot of reasons for that. You don't want it to soak up extra water that it doesn't have to. Uh, do not bleach, obviously. Uh, tumble dry on low. So that's interesting that it says you can actually put this in the dryer. And as long as you keep it on low, you shouldn't have any problems with those logos coming off, according to Nike. Not saying that's not going to happen, haven't done it yet. So we're going to find out together. And uh, do not iron and do not dry clean. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to throw this in the washing machine, just like it says, on cold only. Not going to do warm and cold, whatever, just a cold only setting. And we're going to dry it on low, on a tumble dry. We're not going to go a little bit more than low. We're not going to bend the rules. We're going to keep it like it says. Uh, if anything, we might even go on an extra low dry because I believe my dryer can do that. If, you're, if yours cannot, just stick with the low, what it says on the tag, and uh, we'll see exactly what happens. There's also a Nike Connect in here too. That Nike Connect logo actually connects with your phone. It syncs up. It gives you stats stuff. I'll also show that in my other comparison video if you guys want to check it out. It's interesting. I mean, I don't really think it's a necessary thing, but we're going to also check and see if that still works out. You kind of like see it in there. And we're going to see if that still works after getting wet. But anyway, guys, let's get ready. We're going to throw this thing in the wash, and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, guys, so now I'm in the laundry room now, and we're going to get ready to throw this into the washer. Uh, as for that, uh, the jersey is now inside out. I know you can't really see it because I'm zoomed in, but it is completely inside out, so make sure you flip your jersey inside out. It's a very important step. Make sure it's inside out. Like you could see it in the reflection there. My jersey is inside out. So we're going to once again follow exactly what the tag said. 
uh, we are going to machine wash on cold. So here's my settings here. Each wash and dryer may be different. Just I recommend knowing how to work yours. I'm actually going to put mine on a quick wash cycle. That's over here. So I'm actually going to stick it onto the quick wash. Just so it goes a little quicker. You don't have to do that. I think you can run it on normal delicates too if you actually really wanted to be extra careful. But I'm going to run it onto the quick wash. I'm going to set this to temperature here. We're going to go to cold, cold because that's what it says. It does not say to run on warm, cold, so don't improvise. Follow the instructions. Machine wash on cold. Wash inside out. So we got the first two steps done. Wash with light colors. We're washing it alone, so we don't need to worry about that. We're not using any softeners. Uh, do not allow it to lay on itself. We'll be taking care of that immediately. So as soon as this finishes, I'll be right in here to take it and transport it into the dryer instantaneously. So we'll make sure we take care of that. And we'll move on to the next step after that. We are definitely not going to be bleaching it. We're going to keep the spin on high. That's perfectly fine. Uh, definitely want to keep a spin because we don't want it to lay in itself. That can cause it to actually bleed colors onto each different section of the jersey. So we are not going to put it on to no spin. We'll make sure it spins high. Uh, we're going to keep the load light so we don't want to do it on a normal wash. Not heavy, light because it is only one item. If you're washing multiple jerseys of light colors, I think normal would be just fine. But in this case, we're going to keep it light. It's going to keep the time a little bit quicker. We'll get it done a little bit faster. All right, so I'm just going to open this up, and we're going to throw it in. I'm really nervous about that, but whatever happens, happens. As for the detergent, we're just going to be running Tide. That's what I'm running. doesn't mean you guys have to do that. You can run whatever you want. Just make sure there's no bleach involved in it. So I'm just going to fill it up a little bit below max since we're only doing one item. There's no reason to go over. Uh, this is bleach softener. That's just some excess water from the previous wash. I just did some wash right before it, so that's why you're seeing that in there. It's no big deal. It's just water. It's not bleach or softener. Do not put either of these in. Okay, so we'll close that up. All right, guys, so uh, 27 minutes from now, this will be done. And as soon as it's ready, we'll move it to the dryer. All right, there's no going back now. Here we go. So it just ended. I'm going to take it out right now. All right, so it's completely inside out, as you guys can see. Um, everything's intact. All the logos feel fine. I don't see anything coming off, which is good. We washed it according to what it said, and I took it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a little shake so that the letters, nothing stick into each other. Everything seems to be fine. Make sure we get anything out of it. Don't want anything together. And then we're going to move on to the dryer, which is right over here next to it. Alright, so we're going to toss this into the dryer and wait, we're making sure this stays inside out for sure. You do not want to not leave that inside out in the dryer. Alright, so I got the jersey in there, it's inside out. You can see the NBA logo there, that's just because it's inside out, that's the inside. See a little bit of the lettering there. Uh, it's inside out, I just cleaned out the lint trap. Make sure you guys always do that, make sure that stays clean. Don't want that um, to have excess lint. Alright, now let's move up to the settings, I'm going to close that up. Alright, so I'm trying to get that as focused as I can for you guys. Sorry if it's not the clearest on this side, but I think you'd be able to make out everything that you're seeing. So basically, what we're set on is, I have this set on the normal time dry uh, cycle. Right here, it's uh, set for 40 minutes. I'm going to actually lower that. I think that's a little bit too long for this, since it's by itself. It's just a jersey, and it's very light. It's made of the Nike dry fit materials, so it should dry up pretty quick. That's why they just say to dry on low. Uh, you give a, I have a feature here, too, that's called air fluff. What this will do is that's just kind of air. It's just cooling. There's no heat involved. Uh, if you want to run it on that setting, I think it's safe to do. But because the tag says we can do low, I'm going to run it with a tad bit of heat. But if you overdo the heat and you leave it in too long, that's where the letters can tend to peel off. I'm going to just stick it on time dry. Uh, we're going to scroll back over to our settings here. We're definitely not going to do that. I, well, stick it on 20 minutes. I think that'll be fine. Uh, we'll leave it on a... This is the temperature here. That's perfect. That's what we want to do. I'm leaving it on extra low. If you guys have an extra low setting, do it. That's going to be barely any heat. Just a tad bit. It'll get it drier, dried a little bit quicker. Uh, and then low. Um, that's what they... That's the standard. 
So if you guys want to stick it on low, you're perfectly fine. But if you have an extra, I'm going to keep it safe and run extra low. Um, we're going to just hit go on this, and I'm going to keep a really keen eye on it. I'm not going to wait 20 minutes. I'm going to actually come back after 10, check it out, see how it's doing, put it back. Because I don't. once it's dry, I'm taking it out. I don't want it to sit too long. All right, guys, so we just got back from the dryer. Um, I left it in the full 20, actually. I went with the full 20 minutes, and it came out perfectly dry. I reflipped it, and uh, yeah, it turned out pretty good. Uh, I'm not noticing any peeling. It doesn't feel any weaker on the sides. And remember, like as I said, I think a little bit earlier, it, it felt like cheaper quality on the logos before, and it still kind of tends to feel the same way. It, it hasn't gotten any worse, though. The stars are something on the Sixers jersey, they're very pointy and it's something that's always seemed like they were going to come off and they didn't, they didn't even uplift, which is good. Um, as for the front, all these logos here, they're sealed down, doesn't feel like it's looser and I'm trying to bend it and feel little areas that I can pick off, but it seemed to do a really, really good job with it. Um, not, no complaints there. So like you, just by following those instructions it, inside, it, it worked out. Tags are fine. The one thing that we are going to check right now is the Nike Connect right here. With the Nike Connect, you're going to log into the app. I hope you guys can hear it if it works or not. And it did. There it is. Special Sixers jersey. Worked out, comes up with the schedule and a bunch of stuff like that. My jersey review goes over that app a bit too, so you can look more into that. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much how you wash this. You kind of just follow the tags instructions to a T, and then just be careful and mindful of the dryer. You know, just make sure that you know it's not in too long. Occasionally check on it. I did a 20 minutes on extra low, 20 minutes on low too. Would probably be perfectly fine. Just monitor the back logos and. Uh, you know, there's videos online of somebody that did wash these before and they fell apart. It was probably due to not following the proper instructions of washing on cold and uh, drying at the right temperature and just monitoring it and being very careful with it. I mean, it sucks that you have to be so crucial with it and uh, careful because, you know, for a product that's $110, they should be way more durable than it seems that they are. But by following the instructions, it seemed to work out perfect. Uh, any other questions, if anyone has any failed attempts at doing this after this video, please let me know below. Let me know what you did, because uh, as long as you're following the instructions and it fails, then that is a flaw on Nike's part, and uh, yeah, that would be a serious problem. But anyway, guys, uh, thanks a lot for watching. This is kind of like the only video up there that actually shows you this, so uh, please like, comment, subscribe, uh, favorite it, and share it with as many people as you can, and uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.